Hey, what's up? Team Natty back here again. Today I'm going to tell you guys how I make my pre-workout. I'm pretty sure I've said before in other videos that I do mix my own pre-workout. I don't like taking just a regular pre-workout off the shelf. I mean, it's not that I don't like it. I'll do it. I don't care. I just like getting exactly what I need. And so the pre-workouts that I come up with are just a couple different ingredients, stuff that I use, stuff that I like, stuff that I know works and usually works well for me. I hope you guys enjoy it too, by the way, and you can always do this and then add your own stuff. And please, please, please let me know what you take down in the comments below, what your favorite pre-workout is, and how, if you mix your own pre-workout, you do it, and what ingredients you like taking. So here we have my supplement cabinet. I like to start off with a little B-complex. And recently I've been taking some super ginseng complex for energy, although this isn't really part of my actual common routine pre-workout, but we'll get to, into this into another video. I really like to talk about the energy aspects of that. Okay guys, so here we have the Super B Complex. That's gonna be crucial to some of the energy. We're gonna put, take this with or without quadrilene. Right now I'm doing caffeine free, but today I might just step into that realm again because honestly I have, um, feeling really tired. I'm gonna take a nap. Been at it for a long day today, so I might throw in some quadrilene, which we've gone over this in another video, um, big review video on my channel. The quadrilene is nice, and there you go. It's got grains of paradise in it, cayenne pepper. Really, it's going to make you get nice and hot, and it's got 200 milligrams of caffeine. So it's going to give you a little, I shouldn't say energy boost, because caffeine really just blocks the receptors to tell you you're tired but it's gonna make you feel energized and it's gonna make you feel nice and hot. If you like that kind of thing, I do. So I take three capsules of this bad boy and one tablet of this bad boy. That's as far as tablets go. Now as far as the actual drink mixture goes, it's as follows. Whoop, scoop of this Man Sports pump powder. I did a review on this stuff as well. Great stem free pump powder and you can use that just to get the pump going, all right? I like my tingles, I'm sure you guys do too. Beta alanine, it's amino acid. This stuff is supposed to help delay muscle fatigue and supports muscular endurance. So this stuff is actually for performance and not just the tingles, although in this we're gonna be using it for the tingles mostly, but yeah, after taking this for a while, you will reduce your muscle fatigue and you'll support muscle endurance. So you'll be able to go longer and harder in the gym or elsewhere, I guess, wherever you wanna go with that. Um, but yeah, so that just helps, I guess, as far as the pre-workout goes, it helps your workout. And for the immediate effects, it gives you a nice tingle to get you jump starting. You can add some BCAAs in there, or BCAAs, or BCAAs, I don't care how you pronounce it. You can add those in there. Am I going to? Yeah, probably today. This really doesn't do anything as far as like getting yourself going does, um, which is what, a, for me, what a pre-workout really does is just I want to get pumped up and I want to feel something so that I don't just sit there and like want to go home and play video games because that's really what I want to do all the time. So um, extend BCAs. I mean, people say they're, it's good for hydration. Really? I mean, I think it's just because you start drinking water because you're mixing it in water and you have to drink it and people don't usually drink something. But with this, like you want to drink the whole thing as opposed to just taking a few sips out of your water bottle. Today I'm going to add it in there because I haven't had some. This also helps with the recovery aspect. So it's like an intra workout, post workout kind of deal. If you throw it in there with your pre workout, you just don't even have to worry about it afterwards. So there you go. And finally, creatine. Now, people give creatine a bad rap, say it harms their stomach and all other sorts of things. Now, while this might not mix completely well, it doesn't dissolve all the way, it is one of the, if not the most studied supplement in the sports industry, creatine monohydrate. This is an Optum Nutrition brand. Uh, you get a lot for what you pay for. I have always thought it was really good, never had any problems with it. 114 servings in this little bottle uh, of five grams of the creatine monohydrate, micronized. You can do creatine loading. I think that's just a load of garbage to make you buy more creatine, honestly, just take it over time. It will build up in your system. You can also get it from red meat and other things. But yes, I put in some creatine in there. I don't eat a lot of red meat. It's more of a delicacy to me. But creatine does help increase muscle endurance and ATP in the body. And there's even a video where I talk all about creatine way back last year. So if you want to learn more on that, you can always check that one out. 
creatine. Good stuff. I don't like when they spike stuff with it, but you know, it's creatine. You know, it's got a lot of studies behind it as far as muscle endurance goes, but we'll get, that's that's we'll get into that later. So this is this is kind of it. Now, as far as flavors go, blue raspberry and this sour batch kids really works well together. It gives you a nice like sour blueberry taste. Beta alanine's flavorless, the creatine is flavorless. This really mixes for a great drink. So you're gonna get pumped, and, the, and let me tell you why. Because we're gonna talk about the ingredients that we want here. Why we take these things. So as far as this goes, the, the quadrilene, we want the caffeine, we want the thermogenesis, we wanna get hot, we wanna get sweaty, and we wanna get energized. The pump powder, like I said in the other video, this has got a massive amount of citrulline in it, of B vitamins, of things that really induce a pump, and vitamin C. So not only does this provide natural energy, but it also helps you get that really tight muscle feeling, like your skin's about to burst, feeling that we all know and love, that Arnold said is like climaxing. So yeah, I mean, I love it. So that's gonna throw in there for some natural energy for some pump action, what we all want, we all want to look beefed up and that'll help you produce those pumps that make you feel like you're a god on Mount Olympus. This B vitamin complex I throw in there too, like I said, mostly for natural energy, but you're going to get a lot of it from this. The beta alanine is another main ingredient, we want that for the tingles. BCAs, we want that for the recovery, and the creatine we want for the endurance as well. And this helps with endurance too, so that's why we choose these ingredients. Now I do um, half a teaspoon, eight full teaspoon, scoop, scoop, three capsules, and then one tablet of this if I'm using it. But yeah, that's basically it guys, that's my pre-workout mixture. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Mixes well, goes down quickly, doesn't taste bad, actually tastes pretty good, and you're gonna get a nice pump, a nice boost of energy, and yeah. So, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, let me know again. What's your favorite pre-workout, and what you use before you get ready for the gym? Or do you even use pre-workout? Maybe you have a ritual, let me know. Take it easy. You guys stay natty, team natty out.